Aquarius, hi. So this is going to be a reading for March 16th through the 22nd. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll uh, close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Let me take a look here, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on. All right, so the overall energy for the reading, the Four of Wands, this could be talking about a marriage or a stable commitment of some sort. Um, in your recent past, you get the Temperance, the Ten of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. It's that feeling of hanging on because things are about to get better kind of situation. Uh, like, like a, a, as an example, whenever, let's say, I ended, ended well, quit a job or something, and I had two more, two, two weeks left or something like that, or whatever the case. Uh, the last few days, torture for me, because I knew it was coming to an end. And I was like, mm, anxious about it, right? So it kind of feels like that, where you know you're coming to the end of these burdens, something that felt very hard, very heavy for you. Um, hanging on, hanging on, just hanging on, because you knew that things were going to change, you know, for the better. So, in your current situation, you get the Page of Swords, the Judgment card, and the Knight of Wands. You're changing. Your attitude towards something is changing. From uh, the Page of Swords to the Knight of Wands. Uh, things are changing here for you in terms of approaching possibly this connection. Um possibly any kind of situation in your life, you know, more passionate, more open, more towards what attracts you, what speaks to you, right? More towards feeling rather than um, thinking. In your immediate future, you get the Five of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Moon. A lot of sadness, a lot of sadness in regards to a love situation um, because of secrecy, because of possibly illusions, because of a lot of things, it could be, you know, with the moon card, a lot of things are hidden um, from us. So, let's clarify. Let me clarify the four of wands. Why am I sitting like this? I don't know. It feels good, though. <laughs> you get the uh, six of swords, the knight of swords, and the nine of wands. You're, uh, you or somebody else is thinking about um, possibly leaving a situation, leaving a connection. It's a hard decision to make, but somebody's making this decision. Let me clarify the temperance card in the recent past. You get the... Uh, Five of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. A lot of cups. Um, you've gone through a period of time, very, very possibly victim mode. Kind of like, you know, good things never happen to me. It happens to everyone else, but why me? And things like that. Um, there was a lot of that going on for you. A lot of sadness, a lot of... Ugh. Uh, but I feel like you've gone past that the minute you found love. You know, love entered your life and you were like, oh, okay, so it is for me. Good things can happen to me. I feel like that changed your perspective a little bit. Uh, let me clarify the uh, Ten of Wands. In your recent past, the Hangman, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands. Huh? Yeah, but then it was good when it came, the love, 
But then when it came to overcoming things and going through difficult times, that wasn't so easy anymore, huh? I kind of made you want to give up here. I like it when people say, it's too hard, it's too hard. Uh, okay, but that kind of erases everything that's good. It's like you're forgetting that most of the times it may be good. But then one thing happens and it's like, it's so goddamn hard. Why? Because one thing happened, you know? It kind of feels like that here. Not that one thing happened. I'm sure a lot of things happened here. There was a lot of conflict, a lot of arguments here. But it's looking like um, it, it, it prevented you from wanting to move on here and hang on to the positive things in this connection, you know? Um, let me clarify the Wheel of Fortune. In the recent past, yeah, a lot of pain. A lot of pain. Things went from love and happiness and stability and all of that to the other side of the spectrum. A lot of pain here. And again, um, I'm seeing somebody hanging on to the negative stuff instead of the positive. And that's why things became even harder for this person, whoever they are. Could be you. Let me clarify the page of swords in your current situation. The Ace of Swords, the Star, and the Devil. Uh, I feel like you're considering if what you truly want is what you truly want. You know, uh, sometimes we think we want something really, really bad. And it turns out that most of the times when we get it, it's like, why the hell did I even want this in the first place? You know, um, it's one of those getting the unattainable kind of situation. You want that. It's human nature. And then you get it and you're like, what the hell am I doing now? Because I don't need this. You know, so it's kind of like, a um, again, a shift of perspective for you trying to to figure out if what you desire so badly is actually what you truly want, what your soul wants, you know, let me clarify the judgment card. You get the uh, Knight of Wands, the Seven of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> You may be in that uh, whole you may be single at this time you may be separated from this person or whatever the case i feel like there was no official kind of separation here you're still kind of together somewhere in a universe a parallel universe but officially in the 3d realistically i feel like you may be single independent right and I do see you looking at other options here, opening up to other situations, other connections. I'm not sure that you're taking them, but um, you're letting yourself open up to something else. Let me clarify the uh, Knight of Wands. You get the Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, and the King of Pentacles kind of like a combo here of energies that you need to get to this king of pentacles so you need a little bit of um your mind your um passion your heart right it's like ingredients here stability uh thoughts passion intuition, all of that, that's going to lead you to this person. So it's kind of like a mix um, of ingredients towards somebody that's very successful, which you're uh, planning to be, you know? It's very interesting, this combo here that you're choosing for yourself. There's a lot of... Uh, mm, you're lacking here uh, the cups. But I do see it within the passion here, within the Knight of um, Wands there, right? So it could be integrated into that. But when it comes to your stability, you have the perfect kind of ingredients here to get it going. 
I feel like uh, the emphasis is a lot on your material world right now. Let me clarify the um, Five of Cups in your immediate future. You get the Wheel of Fortune, the Sun and the Magician. You're manifesting happiness, emotional fulfillment. It's coming. It's coming. Because emotionally, mm, not too satisfied. You're manifesting that for yourself. And it's on the way. For the Queen of Cups, you get the um, Ten of Wands, the King of Wands, and the Three of Cups. I do see a reconciliation here with the person from your past, possibly. Are you getting together, going out, having fun. A lot of love here. It's going to have a rough start. But then things are going to get smooth. Um, let me clarify the moon. Deception. And the deception stands in... Um, trying to do many things at once. So let's say you have a job, right? That requires a lot of your attention. And then this person comes along and you're like, oh yeah, hell yeah. You know, we'll do this together. Yeah, I'm in. Uh, but then you're too busy at work and your energy, where do you split that? You know, because when we talk about third party energies, it doesn't have to be a person, it could be work. That takes a lot out of your energy. You have nothing left to give in this other side, right? So I do see a little bit of deception here in regards to that. So keep in, uh, take into consideration this energy of balancing out your energy. You can give to work, you can give to this situation, you know? Be a little mindful where the scale goes up and down here. Keep them balanced here, right? Because um, you're looking at a brand new powerful beginning for yourself, you know? So let me uh, pull off some cards from the universe for you. I see things going pretty good here. Once the focus becomes you, then love is coming in. Then it's just a matter of balancing things out. That's it. Energetically speaking. So you get the Seven of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and the Justice card. I do see this person trying to fix things with you. You may not see it yet energetically, but it's coming. Uh, somebody's trying to, to fix things. So yeah, that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope this helped, and I'll see you next time. Bye.